Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you a walk around the new Short Track Pro Series Implement Trailer. This is a brand new model. This is the first one that we've got into these. Everything shown here is standard equipment with the exception being the 8,000 pound axle upgrade and we'll get to that in a minute. So for those that aren't familiar with 17 plus 3, that's my terminology for what most are going to call a 20 foot equipment. 17 foot of flat deck, three foot of self cleating beaver tail. Overall, this would be a 20 foot trailer. We generally order 17 plus threes with the stand up style deluxe ramps. And then often we'll do a 22 with the full width ramps. And we've got another video and other ads uh, with that product, but we carry them both ways. This is actually the standard ramp on this particular line. Um, we'll take you for a walk the rest of the way around it, get more in depth about those ramps and who would be the ideal user. 8,000 pound axles, again, only option uh, as shown on this particular unit. Other than that, everything shown here is standard equipment. This unit is gonna weigh in, just so you know, it's a little bit heavier than the traditional style. And what I mean by traditional, typically in the industry for about 30 to 40 years, you had a six inch channel tongue that would wrap to the spring hangers and then you had a six inch channel frame that would go all the way back. And six inch channel roughly is a 8.2 foot pound. Uh, this is gonna be an eight inch 13 foot pound I-beam, so picking up a little bit of extra weight. Now, to be fair, you're going to also lose a little bit of weight because the I-beam's 13 pounds in this area where you would traditionally have had a double uh, stack of channel. Two six-inch channels would be 16 foot-pound in that area. Um, also, a little bit different on this one, we'll cover it in a second, is going to be you got a little bit longer tongue on these new Pro Series models. But uh, the short and sweet, to this as far as a weight standpoint goes uh, this unit's going to weigh in just under 4,000 pounds standard i'll show you the tag they're saying 17.6 gvw 13.880 is your payload so you've got uh 30 3800 pounds give or take uh on the trail away about 37 3800 pounds i would say a traditional equipment this size 20 foot is going to weigh about three with an 8k axle upgrade you're going to go up to about 3350 3400 pounds so this trailer is going to weigh probably 350 maybe 400 pounds uh more than a comparable channel frame uh trailer depending on who it's built and whatnot so a little bit heavier this is uh Probably the ideal spec right here for this new Pro Series model would be 8K axles. It's, it'd be a pretty heavy duty 7,000 pound axle uh, GVW trailer, but we'll certainly bring them in that way as well for the heavier duty users. Uh, this is the Pro Series is the first model Short Track makes in an equipment trailer where they're counting in tongue weight. So on the, what I'll call normal old channel style uh, trailer, two 7K axles, they're gonna rate at 14 uh, on this, Pro Series model, they're they're going to take two sevens and call it a 15.4, and then on tandem 8K axles like this on the Pro Series, it's going to be rated to 17.6. On the old style, they rate those to 16,000. So because it's built a little heavier, they're counting a little bit of tongue weight in uh, to the total uh, GVW of the trailer. So while the place I said earlier where you're picking up some of that weight. The tongue on this Pro Series is coming in about six foot. Traditional channel frame trailer, it's gonna be more like four foot. Difference on this, uh, on the mono frames where you're basically taking a tongue and frame all the way to the back, instead of a traditional tongue that's gonna start up front, come to your hangers, and then a frame all the way back. Uh, on that setup, on the traditional tongue setup, your tongue's gonna come at a 45, 50 degree angle, where on a mono I-beam, you're coming all the way to the outside and there's a few benefits to coming all the way to the outside one it's strong it's continuous throughout two when you go wide you're also going to be stable so it's very stable uh of a trailer the way it's the way the tongue's designed but then also you got room for a monster toolbox it's a very large box you can fit all kinds of goodies in here uh besides a monster box you've also got a light so if you're that guy that's uh, working beyond uh, nine to five, if you're the, the hairy homeowner that's working after hours and want a heavy duty trailer, you've got a light there. 
Uh, it's tied into a U1 battery, like a garden tractor style battery. Um, that also, if, if you're keeping track, would tie into your breakaway as well. That would actually power your breakaway cable battery. And if you wanted, there is an optional uh, work light. Uh, I suspect most of what we bring in will not have it, but it's going to mount right under the center there. That, I suspect, will also end up tying into that U1 battery. Four bolt pinnel coupler is standard equipped. Uh, I suspect we'll also bring some of these in with balls and then we also have two and five sixteenth inch four bolt ball mounts on the shelf as well. Heavy duty front face plate coupler. It's also reinforced to the rear. Of course your standard breakaway cable. Uh, seven pin RV blade style plug. It's got the color codes at the end which is nice. The industry uh, has not had those previous uh, plug holder. It is a bolt-on jack. It's a 12K jack. If you ever need to replace it, super easy to do so. Uh, this has a mini semi-style uh, two-speed landing gear, which is nice. Uh, basically, you got a high and low gear, so if you're under load or not under load, you'd have different gear ratios and speeds for that. If you're not familiar with the 12K jack, simply pull the end of the pin there, and it'll spring up. Nice part about this is you have plenty of adjustment, no need to carry around any wood blocking, etc., because you've got outer leg and inner leg adjustments for it so we said about the toolbox it's plated out nice where your tongue and mainframe uh, crossover you've got your bullet led light it is a powder coated trailer you've got some grease zerts going across the back of the toolbox uh, this is what i'd call a functional headache rack not only does it give you a bump stop you've also got a heavy duty area to tie down to as well Speaking of heavy-duty tie-downs, these stake pockets are fairly plentiful. They're also built heavier than your traditional stake pockets. This is an 8-inch, 13-foot-pound I-beam, for those wondering. It's got a heavy-duty double-broke tread plate fender. It's going to be gusseted to the front and rear, and then also has a center support. You've got four tie downs. These are four inch. I believe that those are, yep, three quarters. I was gonna say they look bigger. Typically your three inch rings would be half and then uh, your four inch, you see five eighth. These are actually oversized. These are three quarter rings. I suspect they probably go that large because this trailer model is also available with 10,000 pound super single axles as well. So this one is equipped with the optional 8,000 pound axles. Couple reasons we prefer short track on 8K axle trailers. One would be 17.5 rubber. So this is only required to have a 16 inch 14 ply standard, which would be a traditional mod uh, style wheel. Same as what's on a, a traditional load range E10 ply. This is actually a solid wheel. It's much heavier. And the 17.5 rubber is a 16 ply as opposed to, again, the minimum requirement be a 16 inch 14. So they go way oversized uh, on the tire wheel assemblies on this. Also has the Valcrum aluminum cap upgrade instead of plastic. So for those of you that have had uh, an 8K axle before uh, trailer, may have cracked a cap because they were plastic historically. These are upgraded uh, to the aluminum. It's also got the slipper spring suspension. It's got a greasable center pin or what some would call a wet bolt kit it's nice uh, for your extra serviceability now i can't easily get to it to show you but one big difference to an 8k axle is short tracks using a true 8k axle meaning it's got a three and three eighth inch uh, brake assembly some are using hybrid two and a half inch brake assemblies some are using non-saes this is a true 8k axle uh, Importance to that would be a true 8K is going to have same size drums and pads as a tandem dual 10K axle, uh, where the hybrids are going to be two and a half inch. You're losing about 30% or so of your surface area. Uh, we just prefer brands. 8Ks, you see a wide variation of what there is in the industry. Short Tracks using a real 8K, which is I, we think the way to go. Most guys are buying this trailer for extra tires, suspension sometimes frame stopping power etc 
this has all those. Again, there's the rest of your D-rings. Coming back to the beaver tail, you've got a pair of banjo eyes. Uh, self cleaning beaver tail as well, it's not a wood dove tail. Uh, ramps on this are four inch. Typically in the industry, you're gonna see a three inch channel. They've used four. In fact, Short Track for years has been using a four inch channel ramp, even down to a 10K equipment. Uh, a little bit overkill, but uh, being that it's spring assisted, it's not uh, hard at all to pick up. The other nice part about this ramp, you can literally load just about anything. It's got the expanded mesh uh, over it. It's extra wide. We were specking this uh, ramp style out for a while, and they've now made it, uh, you know, standard equipment. I guess enough people liked it, standard equipment on these. But you can literally load just about anything. You've got roughly a foot or so of adjustment on the ramp. You can take them almost all the way together. Um, there it's got an adjustable kicker knee as well if you want to take it in and out some you can again there's your spring assist uh this is a three inch channel 16 inch on center floor same as what you're going to find on most 14 16 k gvw trailers out there Treated pine deck, standard. Spare tire mount on the passenger side, also standard. This is available again with 7K axles, as shown here with 8K axles or optional 10Ks. Uh, we'll be stocking all the above in different configurations. This has the stand-up ramps. We'll also be doing this with the full-width ramps as well. This is available in gooseneck uh, as well. We'll have a few of those in stock as well in different configurations. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a shout at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.